basically what this is is a I believe a volcano with like a caldera in the middle I am not positive about that but I'm sure we're gonna read about it or do a voiceover and let you know what it is. We're Mike and Laura of MikeandLauraTravel.com. For the last four years, we've been traveling the world and documenting our adventures. Our successful travel blog has taken us to some pretty amazing destinations. We're excited to be able to share our experiences and what we learn along the way. Visit our website to stay connected or subscribe to our channel today and don't miss our weekly uploads. Props to Michael for driving down these narrow, narrow roads. Although the roads are super narrow in Ponta Delgada, once you get to the main road, they're not, they're just like normal roads and people drive normal and at least I think they do. Also where we live in Ponta Delgada, we are maybe 30 minutes max from anywhere on the island, like all of the really good hikes. Uh, the volcanoes, the hot springs, all that. So I'd say we're in a pretty good position. If you are traveling to Azurish, then you should also stay in Ponta Delgado. There's a lot here. Um, and then you should also rent a car. But it's a beautiful day here, although there are clouds, lots of clouds. That's okay because we need to take advantage of these days where we see even a little bit of blue sky. The Azurish is known for rainy day. small. There is another parking lot along the road, but it's also full. It's 10 a.m. in late November and it's packed. I think everyone comes here when there's good weather, so just be prepared for that. If there's good weather, there's going to be people here. Right. Where you park at, there's like a very clear and obvious parking lot and, and then there's head. signs. Yep, there's an obvious trailhead and then you don't go that way. You go the opposite way across the street and down a hill, but it's so lush here. This is ridiculous. Yeah, look at these trees. I don't think I've ever seen trees that look like this before. And they're not just here. They're like filling this whole path up. It's crazy. This location is definitely no secret to locals or tourists. Sete Sedades viewpoint sits at the top of the list of the must-dos for the Sao Miguel Island. This is the collapsed volcano. This is the caldera where the explosion happened. And then there's five other lakes surrounding it, which is really cool. To the side of the designated viewpoint, you can have the same overlook with less distractions. So although this place is pretty busy, lots of people, there are small little, I guess, trails going off of the main trail. So I recommend when you get here to just come to the, like keep going on the trail, go on the left side because there are so many other places that you can get some pictures that there's not gonna be any people. You can bring a lunch and enjoy it here uh, without kind of muscling your way through other people. Unsteady. If you look over here next to the lake, there's this town, and that is apparently the town of 
Sete sedadesh. I'm only adding the sh because they do that with all, like, it seems like they do that with all s's. So, if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. But yeah, so that's the, the town um, sitting right next to where the explosion happened. I don't even know when that happened, but I'm guessing millions of years ago. This is a massive volcanic crater that spans three miles across. The lakes are different colors, and when the sun is shining, you can really see the vibrant colors of the water. The Sete Cidades is considered one of the seven wonders of the Azores, and for good reason. There are more ways to capture a view of the lakes and the city below. The King's Lookout also offers a beautiful viewing area of the same lakes just off the side of the road, with no hike to the view. And there are even a few more stops down the same road for you to enjoy the scenery. We would spend our entire day just going around to the different viewpoints and even heading right down to the water. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We hope to have you back. It's time for our first adventure here in Azurish. Pre-adventure calls for some musli. Although, this is false advertisement, Mr. Quaker, because this shows all these delicious strawberries and maybe some cranberries or something. The entire thing is raisins. I'm tired of raisins. So, Please fix your advertisements. This is garbage. But we'll see you on the trail. Zurich. Props to Michael for driving down these narrow, left. narrow roads. I was going to use a curse word, <laughs> but so note to anybody coming here: come early. Oh, oh, is are they are they leaving? Oh, it looks like yeah. Or are they just pulling back in? So if you look over here next to the lake. Sorry, Dad. I don't know why I just felt unsteady. 